Hi, my name is Corinne Stendallen. I was diagnosed with stage three uterine cancer in January of 2020. I've had surgery, chemo, and radiation, and it was not fun. It really sucked. I've been a dairy farmer all my life, and I had just sold the farm. We thought we were gonna sit back and relax and travel and go visit our grandchildren. He sold the cows and then I got cancer. So our retirement lasted about two months. The treatments really wrecked my life, but eventually they worked and I was cancer free for a while. And then December of 2021, I had a scan and they showed two spots, one on my bladder and one on my liver. When my doctor came into my room, he said, this does not look good. And then I started taking two powerful medications and they have kept things in check ever since. I am not cancer free, but the cancer is not spreading. And my doctor is pleased with that. Basically these two medications that I'm taking are keeping me alive, but one of them is very expensive. It has a copay of $2,500 a month. $2,500 a month for me to live. We have health insurance but it's high deductible. We had to take money out of our retirement fund just to pay for my medicine. It was hard because that was for our future. My doctor asked me if I needed any refills. And I said, yes, but I'm paying $2,500 a month for this. And we're not sure how much longer we can do that. And the doctor said, that's unacceptable. I'm gonna go talk to someone. And then a kind woman from the financial office came into the room. She said, I have a copay assistance card for you on file in the pharmacy. She said that we'll never have to pay for that again. I cried when she told us that. It was a godsend, a true godsend. It's something that I need to survive. It seemed too good to be true and maybe it was. Our insurance company is now saying they won't count the copay assistance towards our deductible. So it's like the copay assistance never happened. We've been told that this is a big problem for lots of people around the country. It's something the insurance companies are doing called copay accumulator adjustment. It just doesn't seem right. In fact, 15 states have already passed laws against this. We're hoping Wisconsin will join them. In the meantime, I'm doing great. I feel good. I thank God that I'm here and I live my life as the fullest that I can. I just take it day by day. Every day is just an, another day that we get to live out, you know, and, and make things go.